Hong Kong, where we stand today, is well positioned to be leading the dialogue on sustainability. The city has made meaningful progress in transforming itself into one of the Asia's major ESG investment hubs. Sustainable development is invariably connected to the pursuit of prosperity while reducing waste and pollution. The fulfillment of our own needs and aspirations while not damaging the prospects of our future generations. Technology and sustainability, where they meet, that is a powerful, powerful combination. It can generate tremendous value, not just for individuals, but for environments and for corporations and for investors alike. Whether it is uh, environmental technology, whether it is uh, food technology, whether it is even carbon credit trading, FinTech, all these are part of the smart living uh, cluster that we have. Um, it's really not just about having the innovation or technology itself. I mean, we also have to be able to kind of scale things up and commercialize things. So I think that is where, you know, our ESG investment team really come here and support them. And if we look at the green and sustainable bond uh, market share, we account for one third of Asia. So definitely uh, we are growing very strongly and we have huge market size or, or in the leading role in Asia. So we know that we bear the responsibility to lead by example and definitely the government and regulators will do that with the stakeholders together. Social impact means all the ways in which we are impacting all our stakeholders. That includes people and it includes the planet. The world is complex. We like to talk about things in terms of the environment and then community and people behavior, but everything is actually interconnected. So TCFD kind of ticks that box of addressing the emissions part of it. Um, obviously, it's not the full spectrum of green, um, but it gets to what at the moment we're kind of prioritizing politically. In Hong Kong, you know, so roughly 66% of the carbon emission come from electricity generation and buildings do account for 90% of the electricity consumption. So as a responsible developer, we have to think about how do we, you know, optimize energy usage and electricity usage. For Hong Kong, in terms of the numbers that you really want to reduce the carbon emission, energy saving is the key. And I want to add on is that we actually need to look at those low-hanging fruits where we can actually use hygiene play a key role and to reach the largest decarbonization potential. Transportation, energy, of course, are critical, but food is equally a big part of that. Alternative protein, you know, plant-based, cell-based, awareness, education. I think whether it is bottom-up or top-down, uh, there needs to be a very holistic shift. If we are able to invest in more girls uh, to get education since a young age, we can prevent and help build a climate-resilient future for Asia.